All right, I just had a Denon oil cooler installed. This is on my E92, 2011, N55. Now this car didn't come with an oil cooler. And I guess you have to get the M Sport or some other kind of sport package to get the oil cooler. I don't know. I took it racing one time. And uh, if, if I put it in sport mode, I would often overheat and go into limp mode and when that happened I have to pull off into the pit shut the car off turn it back on and then it would come out but generally racing around road Atlanta I had to leave it in drive and not use a sport mode because sport mode caused the oil temperature to rise quickly now under normal driving circumstances like this, after the oil got warmed up, it would be right there around 250 on the gauge. That's, now keep in mind, that's with no oil cooler. That, was, that would be on a hot day too. On really hot days, it might get a tick above 250. Now, I don't know what the exact temperature is, but when the oil temperature reaches 270 I think it is like I said I don't know the exact temperature but when it reaches a certain temperature the computer starts pulling back you start losing power and when it reaches another certain temperature beyond that which might be 300 I don't know that's when it goes to limp mode so the oil cooler helps to keep the temp oil temperature down to keep it from going into limp mode especially if you race now right now my car is not warmed up but we'll get it warmed up and you can see just through normal driving how the oil cooler affected the oil temperature if at all well it's pretty warmed up now this is what the gauge typically reads with the with the oil cooler and that I believe is around 240 Without the oil cooler, it would be at 250. So under normal circumstances, the oil cooler seems to drop the temperature about 10 degrees. I don't think it's going to get any uh, any higher than that, but we'll see. I'll just stay on this road for a few miles and see if it rises. I'll accelerate briskly every now and then to see if I can get it to get hotter. All right, I'm pulling off the freeway. So now we're going to see how it reacts coming to a stop and not having any airflow to cool it. We got it at 240, and I've also set the uh, P3 gauge here to coolant temperature. So the coolant temperature normally runs around 230 driving down the highway but when you get on it then it opens up and it drops let's just see how these things work together now I'm using the sport mode to try to keep the RPMs higher sport mode shifting generally uh, shifts at a higher RPM than I should have gotten over there I want to get back on the freeway Coolant's about 229. Temperature is just under 240. Oil temperature, that is. Now, I'll ass here. temperature looks like it, the needle moved up to about 240 before it was just on the uh, lower edge of it my coolant temperature is down at 215 212 is still dropping but it's probably it's going to start rising soon 
I noticed that whenever you uh, put a load on the engine that it drops the coolant temperature. It's controlled by the computer software, the car software, and I'm using Denon Stage 2 software. So we got 203 degrees now. My oil temperature has actually dropped. I would never see any kind of drop without the oil cooler. So this is the first time I've ever seen any kind of drop in oil temperature. It's almost dropping down to 230. Coolant temperature starting to rise again. So I wonder if the oil cooler works kind of like the coolant temperature. Whereas if you put a load on the engine then it causes it to open up the thermostat and cool it down. I don't know. Probably not because there was no there were there were no software mods. It was just mechanical install. But then again, I'm on the highway and I'm getting a lot of airflow in there to help cool that oil temperature down through the heat exchanger. So that could account for the drop. Now I don't know how the oil temperature reacts with a regular stock oil cooler. That is an oil cooler that comes with a 335i. So I don't know if the Denon oil cooler is better than the stock as far as practical application goes such as this. Any oil cooler is better than no oil cooler. But whether or not an aftermarket oil cooler is better than a factory oil cooler, that's another story. So no valid comparison can be made. I'm comparing an aftermarket oil cooler to no oil cooler. And it's definitely an improvement over no oil cooler. I suspect that if I had no oil cooler, then my temperature, my oil temperature would be over 250 degrees. And I don't know what my coolant temperature would be because I didn't get this gauge until after I have the Dean State 2 software installed. So I don't know what my boost was stock. I don't know what temperatures the car ran at stock. All I know is what they are now with the Dean Stage 2 software. And the boost, I've gotten up to 14 PSI. And as I said, just cruising down the highway normally car seems to run close to 230 degrees. And the temperature, the oil temperature, seems to run around 250 degrees. Right now I'm at 230, so it's dropped even more. This oil cooler definitely works. I was always concerned prior to this oil cooler about this car running at 250 degrees and above. Because I know you're losing power. Hopefully now, with the lower oil temperatures, the computer isn't going to pull back. See, higher oil temperature in itself isn't going to necessarily make you lose power. But when the oil temperature rises, the computer starts pulling back and you lose power that way. Because the computer is trying to save your engine. I've got, I've got the air conditioner on too and outside temperature according to there it says 72 degrees so it's not real hot out but still even even in this kind of weather 72 degrees without an oil cooler I would still be running at 250 degrees Fahrenheit so this oil cooler definitely seems to work the real test will be when I take it to the strip or not the strip but uh, the track